Hello everybody, welcome back to Katrina's Corner. I am Katrina, and today we have another wig brought to you by Sensationnel's Curls Kinks and Co line. It's a 13 by six kinky blowout 20 inch, and she is in the shade Balayage Gold. I always say shade. She's in the color Balayage Gold. She comes in this soft, yakky texture, almost like a silk press type vibe. There is an elastic band that is adjustable in the back, which I love. She has adjustable straps sewn in. I always cut those out. Um, she has three combs, two for the temple and one in the back of the neck with the tag is. And as you can see, she got those kinky coily edges boot, which is the star of the show. And I'm so excited. Let's get into this. So I start tinting my lace with the Ruby Kisses. This is something I'm new to. I've never tried it before, but we went in with it and we locked it down with the spray free spray to hold the pigment in place. We are going to be trying the crafting scissors thing. Lately, I've been seeing everyone doing it. It's supposed to cut your lace jagged for you. Um, so we're gonna try that out today. I just showed you the She Is Bomb Wax Stick, which is a complete staple for me. So we're just gonna go on with that around the hairline, make sure everything is laid down and ready for hot combing. I go in with my hot comb, uh, my Andis hot comb on the setting five. I do not want to burn the wig, so I've never gone any higher. If you want to go higher, be my guest. So I'm just going behind where the edges are, twisting up a little bit so I can get that volume and that bump at the top. And this is how we looking. This is how we coming. So when I was putting her on, I realized that that elastic band was perfect. I love that it's adjustable. I adjusted mine a little bit looser than it was in the pack. And that was perfect for me. I do have a bigger head. So this is big head friendly, small head friendly. I just love that the elastic band can be adjusted. I'm just applying some free spray along the hairline where I want it to lay. Um, it's getting on the edges, yeah, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna comb out the edges anyway afterwards. Once I was done with that, it is time to now fan it. I normally use a portable fan. Um, could not find my portable, could not find my portable, what the hell is going on in my mouth? Could not find the fan. <laughs> so I went back to basics using the info stock card to fan it. So here's when I realized I messed up. I should have cut the wig's lace off with these crafting scissors before putting it on my head because these scissors are entirely too thick to get a good close cut. So you know I had to go in with my regular hair scissors to get a much closer cut. Um, I put a little more of that same free spray from before over the hairline a second time to reinforce the hold. And I do everything on one side to the other side. So while I'm coming out the baby hairs, I'm noticing that I'm coming out that product and in doing so, I'm like pulling out some of the baby hairs. So in the end, that did kind of help so I wouldn't have to then be plucking baby hairs. And if anything, it shortened the time. It wasn't planned, but it worked out well. And the baby hairs look real, real natural. And I'm excited to lay them because they end up coming out pretty much like how my edges look when I actually do my edges. And if anybody knows, I have an Afro. I wear my hair loose, natural hair. My hair is 4C, so my edges tend to look like what these edges end up looking like once I'm done and I lay them. I didn't feel like doing any defined part. Like there's a little bit of a part in that front part, but really this is a flip over. And honestly, I was just being lazy. I had somewhere to go and did not want to do all this extra work. So I'm going in with the same Ruby Kisses as before with a little bit of that Black Radiant Soft Focus. I feel like powder looks significantly better on lace and strands. It just doesn't look as shiny and wet. <laughs> so I use the powder instead. I go in with this thin, like this thin little concealer foundation brush that was perfect. And I, I was being impatient, so I switched to a bigger brush, but I really wish I had kept the small brush because obviously the details, details, details. <laughs> We got the ORS Olive Oil Wig Grip Gel, my favorite gel to use for baby hairs. I know it's a wig grip gel, but girl, it's it's, it's multi-purpose, honestly. 
Nothing holds my baby hairs, even my real natural baby hairs like this stuff, bro. So I'm just pretty much freestyling, letting the Lord use me. You know what I'm saying? Take me away, take me away, Will. When it came to the baby hairs, I had literally no plan. Um, I just wanted to utilize all the hairs that I could utilize that they gave. Um, I also didn't pluck this wig, as you saw. I didn't do any any extra work. I wanted this to be as beginner friendly as possible. And I try to show y'all the experience of doing baby hairs, just so that like, if y'all out there and y'all like, man, my baby hairs always take me so long. They never look how I want to. It's a process and it's gonna take you a minute. Like, by the time I got to my baby hairs looking good, product done dried, I had to reapply. Sometimes it's a mess trying to get the baby hairs to really, you know, behave. And you really gotta utilize your fingers. Press and hold. If you see a curl that you made and you're like, dang, I really wanna keep that curl, that curl is perfect. Hold it, hold it down with your fingers. I'm just tucking the rest of that under my glasses. See, I got glasses, so I got a cheat code. It's gonna, it's gonna hold my ear tabs down for me. So I don't gotta worry about that stress. And I'm just fanning again, cause I cannot find my portable fan. Oh, I was able to say it that time, yeah. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm done talking, Tommy. Uh, my past self, take it so away. I layered a little bit on this side. Actually turned off my camera thinking I was turning it back on. But now that I notice, I'm going to layer this side for y'all on camera. Okay, let's cut down. Yeah, I feel like that's way better already. Just here, the twist out the hair yeah okay so there's a little more body in these curls now do down here all right and with that being done said and done and done and said I'm quickly going to spray Wait, hold on, let me cover my face. Spray a little bit of those. That free spray to hold them layers and curls. And that's how I keep the hair in one place, I feel. This layered perfectly on this side. Dang it, I wish I had filmed it. I really thought I did. I'm so upset. Now hold that curl for me. Yes. Stick that one back behind my ear. But I think these edges are perfect. Would I say buy her? 100%. Yes, I would say buy her. She is so freaking cute. I love her already. Now, is she kind of silky for a yakky textured wig? Yeah. But I feel like she'll be fine. I don't feel like she's going to go really ratty really fast. I feel like she's going to do... She's gonna serve me good. I feel like she's gonna serve me well. So I'm showing you the front and side and back profile. I am five, eight and a half for reference. This is how the 20 inch is hitting on me. And the wig is a lot less shiny in person than it looks like on the camera right here. And when I split the hair in half, you don't see any tracks at all. Everything is uh, here and accounted for. Everything was great. Including myself, I was feeling myself. So. That's all. That's all that is to this video. I'm gonna need you to do something now. I need you to go ahead and do your homework. Hit that like button for me, okay? And show me your work. Hit that comment section. Let me know what's up, how you're feeling about this lay and about this wig, period. Oh! Okay, this damn earring. I don't even know what it... Found it. Anyway, go ahead and graduate from me. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you do not miss anything that I upload from this point on. Y'all have a blessed day. Stay prayed up. This world is crazy. Peace.